saint of the day on Lumen Christi TV. Today the church remembers Saint John Gobert. The city of Florence gave to the world Saint John Gobert. And although he enjoyed the benefits of an early Christian education, his youthful heart was soon attracted to the vanities of the world. A painful incident in his life was the means God used to open his eyes. It happened that Hugo, his only brother, was murdered and St. John resolved to avenge his death. On a certain Good Friday, he met his enemy in a place where there was no escape for the latter. St. John, of course, drew his sword and would have killed his adversary on the spot. But the latter threw himself on his knees, begging him by the passion of Jesus Christ to spare his life. St. John was touched at the words, and so he embraced his enemy, and with him entered a church and prayed with many tears for the forgiveness of sins. John Gilbert later became a Benedictine monk. He fought actively against simony of which both the abbot and bishop were guilty. Unwilling to compromise with these two, he left the monastery to lead a more perfect life. The area surrounding his monastery at Vallombrosa was wide and deserted when he first arrived. John thought that it would be more conducive to contemplation and discipline if the grounds were better kept. But instead of a traditional garden, he opted to have his monks plant trees, thereby creating a park and nature preserve to enhance a prayerful environment. Having visited the hermitage of Kamal Dolly, he finally settled at Val Ombrosa in Tuscany. Together with two hermits whom he found there, he and his companions built a small monastery observing the primitive rules of St. Benedict. Thus was laid the foundation of the order of Vallombrosa. The humility of this saint was such that he would never be promoted even to minor orders. His charity for the poor caused him to make a rule that no indigent person should ever be sent away from them without receiving arms. He founded several monasteries, he reformed some others, and succeeded in eradicating the vice of simony from the part of the country where he lived. After a life of great austerity, John died while the angels were singing round his bed. In the year 1073, on the 11th day of July, when he was about 80 years of age, he was canonized in the year 1193 by Pope Celestine III. St. John Gilbert is the patron saint of foresters and park rangers. What can we learn from St. John Gilbert? Our reflection continues after the break. Welcome back. That episode in John's life is such a challenging and an encouraging tunic that we embrace forgiveness. John challenges us in our relationships and in our dealing with one another to always give way to peace, to let go 
and to talk things over when there's a misunderstanding. Dialogue more and acknowledge there is no sin too big to be forgiven. Vengeance is not ours but God's. We must therefore forgive in order to forge ahead and besides that to rid ourselves of ulcers and the bitterness that comes with holding on to past hurts. Let us pray. Lord, amid the things of this world, let us be wholeheartedly committed to heavenly things in imitation of the example of the evangelical perfection you've given us in St. John the Abbot. Fill us with all the graces we need to forgive readily. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It means sense of the day on Lumen Christi TV. God bless you.